okay a lot of people are actually packing up today um for obviously being sunday but due to the fact that we've been having an extra day when we've been away that extra day has made a big difference hasn't it yeah. So we're back on the road again today. Um, the weather is actually not too bad this morning. So in the back of the car, I've got uh, we've got our light fleeces on, t-shirts and everything. The sun is out, although it's cloudy. Um, but I've got our thick fleeces in there. Trekking boots are in there. We've even got our woolly hats and, and our umbrellas. Yeah, and our caps. Due to the fact it's when we're away, we tend to stock everything, especially if we're going to be out all day. Um, we're going to see how things go. I've got snacks, drinks, and everything with us as well. Um, we are sort of round the Grantham area, and um, well, that's a nice car. Sorry, right. <laughs> I'm busy um, with the junction. Um, we have got um, a couple of plans today and um, hopefully you'll follow us along. Um, we're going to see how, you know, how we fit everything in and um, how long everything's going to take. But as I said, we are prepared, you know, for most of the day. Um, we were very lucky yesterday due to the fact once we got back, we were able to have something to eat. Um, we did actually fall asleep. We had a little nap in the afternoon as well, late afternoon, didn't we? And that's when we went out at seven o'clock, I understand it was, in the evening. And it was really gorgeous, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, in the shadows, you know, sort of shade, but it was a little bit breezy. But when that sun filtered through the canopy of the trees and everything, it was absolutely gorgeous. And even I was getting warm in my jacket, but as I said, I just wanted to be careful um, that I don't get a chill or anything. So, as I said, I think we might be going to the range. Yes, we often find the range now wherever we go. Um, there's a few things on our list. And um, I just keep you, you sort of advised as we're on our travels, where we are actually at that present time. And funny enough, it wasn't me that suggested it this time. It was Hubby because he's got a couple of things he wants to check out. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing any video inside. We'll sort of see how it goes.
so we're just heading into downtown now we haven't been here for a fair few years um, here I don't think they do it anymore but when um, they had all the shopping channels they used to do the filming here didn't they because yeah. we often used to turn up and watch them filming the different products and everything and I know I think there's still a garden centre the other side um, I know it used to be Y Vale again it's been years since we've been here so I'm not sure if it's been taken over I know ours has by Dobbies hasn't it yeah um, so unless it's is it just called downtown garden centre yes it is according to that signpost so yeah so this will be interesting um, a mixture of prices as I said um, and very often it used to remind me a lot of things like Beatties, Debenhams, that sort of thing, did it you, yeah. inside, um, but especially if you wanted, sorry it's speed bumps, um, especially if you wanted something, you know, sort of specialised or for that um, special gift, and there's the garden centre, that side, so um, yeah, so I'm not sure, if, again, I say declaration, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing any filming, we'll just see how things go.
Okay, we're just leaving downtown and the garden centre. Um, we're off now to Wagtail to find out where it is. It's another, um, I think it's like caravans or motorhomes. I don't know if they're allowed tents. Um, it's not far from here, but we've never actually... Just wait till the sat nav stops. Um, we've never actually been and we found it on, um, or Hobby found it on YouTube. So it's sometimes when we're out and about or staying anywhere, we do like to um, check out exit. other um, sort of um, sites, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, we'll see how this one goes. Right, this is Wagtail. This is the one that we actually found on YouTube. And this is another site we were actually considering. I don't think it's been here very long, has it? Because when we stopped, we've been to Ancaster now for years, um, right from when we actually started using tents, um, second caravan we're on now. So we just, this is what we say about just um, checking out different places wherever we stop. And at the moment, fingers crossed, um, the sun's out. I know it's a bit cloudy, but it's, it's quite nice. And uh, we thought we'd just check it out, didn't we? Yeah. Um, usually, we haven't been refused. I mean, I know it's a bit different at the time being because of um, everything that's going on and lockdowns and everything and easing up. But usually, um, especially these sort of places, don't normally mind, do they? Oh. So, it's nice, doesn't it? It did get a little bit narrow, I thought, actually coming into um, the park, didn't it? Coming off them, which we had to get back on the A1 to get here. But it seems quite nice, doesn't it? Fishing lake here, isn't it? Yeah. Actually, I think it's got two. I don't know if anybody else does the same as what we do. We've also done it in the past when we used to have cabins, chalets before we started, or even if we weren't camping, didn't we? We saw another holiday park very often, and I know one time they gave us just a um, like a card, like a pass, not to use obviously their facilities, but just so that we could look round haven't we? Yeah. And it's also a good way of um, checking places out because I've got a big issue about noise. Where we are at Ancaster, it's a really uh, wooden waters. It's a lovely site. Um, the only problem is they do, even before lockdown, had a lot of functions. They did have one going on. You might have heard a bit of music in the background because you reckon it was the 50th wedding anniversary, wasn't it? Yeah. Outside Marquee. Um, but um, yeah, we've, we've had, they sometimes in the past have had like 60s, 70s, 80s weekends and things like that. But it's just nice to sort of look around. Just um, walk over the lake a little bit. So it, it is, um, it could be an option, couldn't it, Dylan? Eh? It could be an option for us. Yeah. 
because it's about the same distance wooden water is, is for visiting anybody as this. I think it's just in the slightly opposite direction, isn't it? Yeah. Got a bit windy just here. <laughs> Done this may be the extension bit might net, did they say? Yeah. Function gazebo type thing. Mm -hmm. I guess this is if they do have a little function or something, yeah, isn't it? A little, uh, birthday party. Yeah, we did stop and we talked. <laughs> <laughs> to a couple of people because that's the only way that's an ideal way of actually truly finding oh this must be where we do the lock up we've heard about some of these places um tamworth used to do it and um, you could store it there Yeah. I do apologise that wind's picked up because we're not very sheltered just here are we? Understand this is the extension bit, isn't it? So it must be doing pretty well. Then again, they've, it looks like they've got the land here, haven't they? Yeah. I wonder if that land belongs to the farmhouse over there. Because that's what a lot of them are doing now, isn't it? Like the um, when we go to, uh, to Corby. And this is where maybe the owners live because this looks like a small home here and plus as hubby said about the truck's got wagtail on it I've seen these before this is like the book exchanging one of our old telephone boxes which is a really good idea and it looks like it's got odd DVDs as well a magazine so really good idea so I have actually seen this on YouTube before this farm used to belong to Bobby's um, grandparents until he lost both his um, grandparents
us and um, we're at Grantham Caravans now so we're just going to pop it in here and have a look round. Not that we're in the market for another caravan but as we uh, do besides looking for different sites we do like looking at different caravans don't we my darling? Yes. How many years it's been since we've been here? It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, so I'm just having a sit for a minute. It's just popped into the shop looking for something. Um, so yeah, so uh, there's an awful lot of caravans been sold, um, or waiting pending and everything. So, uh yeah, we're just having a breather and then I think we are then heading back to um, Woodland Waters. Yeah, so we're just coming back into Woodland Waters. I think we're both feeling very tired now. Um, been on the road quite a while now, different places. Um, so we're going to have a drink, something to eat and chill out. Aren't we, me darling? Yeah. A nice cup of tea would be nice. Cup of coffee? No, a cup of tea. Coffee. Oh, you have to be awkward, don't you? <laughs> I don't drink tea. Well, I drink both, but I like to prefer a cup of tea. Maybe we could get the coffee maker out. Oh, that could be later. What you doing? Well, oh, excuse me, I've just eaten. Uh, this is uh, Den Den's usual pose. Well, no, I'm usually... <laughs> yeah, all over the place. Yeah, we just had lunch, haven't we? And um, we've had some scones, and he made me a nice cup of coffee. So well, I got ordered to make the coffee. Yeah, so we're just having chill out time. It's actually been raining now. We timed it just right, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Don't you think? Because yeah. it's it's been pin it down now, and we've had a really nice day. So we're just going to chillax now. Mm -hmm. 